Talk me through the phase of not going back to school, yeah. leading into doing sports work. Yep. How did you land those first couple clients and gigs? Yeah. So, gosh, um, I'm a big Gary Vee fan. Yeah, um, same. I, All of us too, I bro. Don't, exactly. I don't think I would have half of the clients that I have without Gary Vee. Just um, YouTube content. Just YouTube content. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I bought I bought one of his books. Uh, jab, Crushing jab, it? Or Jab, 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 jab Right, right hook. hook. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I just started indulging in his content and, um, after I found out I wasn't going back to school, I was like, man, I, I really got to make this work and like not regret taking this route. Yeah. So, um, started binging Gary Vee all the time. <laughs> and then it was one of his videos where he talked about, um, the consistency of his outreach, like how many people that you should DM and how many, yep. you know, and like the worst they can say is no and all this other stuff. So that's what I did. Um, but before that, um, I knew I wanted to stay in the sports world. Uh, I did not want to film weddings. I didn't want to film <laughs> buildings and stuff. So I <laughs> wanted to be in the sports world and figure out how to make it work. Um, so my approach was I looked up like hashtags on Instagram and it was all of like, uh, I lived in near Jacksonville. So I looked up Jacksonville athletes or D1 athletes or whatever I could to find yep. like athletes that were doing hashtags. And so I landed probably like a lot of, um, free work, but it was really just to build my portfolio. Um, so I got to work with Alex Fudge. He's now in the Lakers, which is really cool. But at the time, he was That's a sick. five star high school prospect. Um, he was one of my first, not even client. He was just, I made him a free video and we called it that. <laughs> um, and uh, so I started doing, you know, videos like that. Um, got Alex Fudge, got a couple other athletes in the area. And then um, my first year out of college, um, I got my first quote unquote real job in the sports world. Um, I reached out to a quarterback trainer in the Jacksonville area and he trained, well, he still trains like a lot of SEC quarterbacks, pro quarterbacks. And I'm a huge Georgia Bulldog fan, huge Georgia fan. Oh, man. And uh, I used to live there. So um, we're Alabama fans. Oh, come <laughs> on. But uh, yeah, so he he trains uh, Carson Beck, who's Georgia's okay. quarterback. Yeah. And uh, at the time, Carson was, uh, I think, a freshman in college. So I wasn't seeing any playing time or anything, but he was a Georgia quarterback. And I yeah. was like, I would love to give Carson a free video. Um, you know, is there any way, any way we can make that happen? Like, I, you know, I just want it for my portfolio. And uh, Denny Thompson, the quarterback trainer, he was like, meet me at this place uh, in like an hour. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't got anything else to do. So I drive an hour to go meet him there in Jacksonville. And he was like, I would, he was like, I want you to film Carson, but I want you to film my whole ordeal. I want you to film like for us. And I was like, cool, I was like, let's do it. And so that's kind of how my sports journey started. At this um, point, are you dropping a price on him? Or are you just like, no. I'll be there? No. <laughs> so it was, I didn't know how much I was going to be working. I didn't know what I was going to be creating for him. It was literally just like, I just said yes, and I was going to figure it out later. Yep. Um, so I said yes, and uh, that was a month before COVID hit. Oh, um, That was in like February of 2020. And yeah, so I said yes. We started to slowly work together, and then COVID hit. So that kind of had a little, you know, put a little damper in things. And then, uh, yeah, we figured it out after that, um, kind of creating videos. I was pretty much like a jack of all trades, like graphics, photos, videos, yeah. TikToks, running social media pages. That's like five different job titles nowadays. Yeah. Um, and I was just doing it all because I didn't know what was, you know, That's ideal. kind of like, so. that's like the typical journey, though, for someone that finds himself in like a really successful gig is they go through a bunch of iterations and they pick up skills in all different areas and then when the opportunity comes that can take you to the next level it's like it's a little bit of each of those things yeah that applies to to that opportunity hey guys if you enjoyed this short clip check out the full interview here and if you want to see more clips from this episode check it out right here